is a midlife crisis a real thing? Now, when you use the word crisis as an adjective for anything, it's usually not a good thing. It's usually a negative thing. But I always wonder when uh, self-development during your, I guess your midlife, that's what I would like to call it, self-development anyways, is considered a crisis because you're acting, I suppose, uh, differently than you had before. But let's consider that before, right? So I'm younger, I have four kids, and they take up a lot of time, a lot of time well spent, in my opinion. Kids are great, they're always worth it, in my opinion, again. I love them. But when they're younger, they take up a lot more time than they do when they're older, naturally, right? Because when if you're doing it right, you're fostering independence. And then they won't need you as much. They won't need you to drive you drive them places and all that type of stuff. So when that happens, you have a kind of a surplus of time. Now, I suppose to, depending on what you do with that time is whether or not it gets designated as a crisis or not. For me, I started writing and I got published and my books are doing well. I also started running and uh, that took up a lot of time. But once again, I thought it was time well spent. Now, I hadn't started writing until like my late 30s and, you know, I'm 49 now. And, you know, I went on a bunch of different self-improvement or self-development ideas. Like I experimented with a bunch of different diets and spoiler alert, it's always calories in, calories out. You feel differently on different diets, that's for sure. But for weight maintenance, it's calories in, calories out. Simple concept, took me years to understand <laughs> for some reason, but uh, yeah. I understand the, the midlife crisis thing has been uh, attributed to, you know, um, you get divorced, you exchange your wife for a younger version, all that type of sorts of thing, which I can understand would give it a negative connotation because um, if that's what you're doing, like I don't know you personally, obviously, but there's obviously issues in your life that needed to be addressed and before you got married, right? But I didn't have those issues. I enjoy being married. I enjoy being married to the person that I'm married to. But it's interesting because all these things that I was doing for self-improvement, uh, running, looking after my weight, um, writing, uh, was de designated as a crisis by some people around me. Oh, midlife crisis thing, right? And I guess it's just a market departure from regular behavior. But once again, it's like I didn't have the time to do that before. And now that I do, why not take advantage of it? Anywho, so yeah, I'm 49 years old and I'm starting Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Is that a crisis? I guess, although my job sometimes puts me in the way of violence and I'd rather, you know, 49 year old, if I get into a tussle with someone who's half my age, they're gonna win unless I know something, right? And Brazilian Jiu Jitsu is one of those forms that you don't strike anyone, you don't boot anyone, you don't do anything like that. You just control them. And that's what I'm interested in doing. Controlling someone else until uh, I guess the violence can be stopped. This is a longer video than normal. But tell me what you think. Comments are appreciated and I respond to them. So anyways, to recap, sometimes a midlife crisis is not a midlife crisis. I would say that they do exist only because we've given that, that label and everyone understands it as a certain thing. I think there's a lot of, like with anything, there's a lot of nuance and gradations that uh, would disqualify something as being a midlife crisis. I don't think self-improvement, when it's not to the detriment of your family or your, your marriage, is a good thing.